Hey guys, how are you? Today it's a really special day because I'm here with my English professor, Jamie. Hello. And this is gonna be the first interview and I'm really excited. He's gonna talk about the pre-sessional English course that every student can take. I'm gonna focus on Science Without Borders students because that's who I am. So I hope you like it, the video and let's watch the interview. My name is Jamie Rinder and I'm a lecturer in um, the unit for Language and Communication here at KTH and I'm responsible for the university's pre-sessional course in English and Study Skills. I came to Sweden in the year 2010 um, and I've been teaching here at KTH since 2012. That's when the pre-sessional course started um, and that's really been my biggest responsibility since I've been here. Cool. The pre-sessional course um, is exactly what it is. It's a course before the, the semester starts properly. Um, it's a three-week course that starts at the beginning of August. And it's an opportunity for international students to come to Sweden a little earlier, enjoy the summer, um, and to focus on language a little bit before their courses start. Um, many of the students that come here, they have a good level of English, and they've got a very good bachelor degree, but they haven't necessarily studied their subject in English before. Yeah. Or if they have, um, they don't necessarily have the confidence to use English all the time. Like me, for example. <laughs> so the pre-sessional course is a great opportunity for students to improve their English a little bit, but also to, to start thinking about how they can be a good master's student in a foreign language. Um, that's the technical bit. I think it's also really important that international students come before their courses start and make some friends, discover how things work here in Stockholm, here on the KTH campus as well. Um, we have lessons from nine o'clock until midday, Monday to Friday. Yeah. So you always have the afternoons free to discover the city. We give you a little bit of homework, but not a great deal. Yeah, it's, um, not, it's not a lot, it's not no. a lot. It's so not it's, a, lot. A, it's a really good opportunity, like I said, just for students to, to have a little bit of focus that's not on their masters straight away. Yeah. That's what I would say. Yeah, I took, and it's awesome. Like, I thoroughly recommend you, like, take it, it's awesome. And as Jamie said, like, it's really good to set yourself here in Sweden, discover a bit of, uh, of the city, and uh, it's awesome, it's summertime still, so I definitely recommend you to take the course. Okay, I'm going to talk about some practical things about the pre-sessional course. First of all, applications. How do students apply? Um, the first thing I should say is that the course is free to a number of students, and I'm going to read from the web page here. The link is going to be here, so you can click and check it yourself. Okay. The web page says that degree-seeking fee-paying students, scholarship holders, as well as students from the following programs can apply for free. Those programs are Erasmus Mundus, EIT, and Science Without Borders. So, if you are from those programs, um, you simply can apply for free, and um, as long as we receive your application before June, um, then you'll have a place. If, for example, you're an Erasmus student and you would still like to apply for the pre-sessional course, you can contact me and you can find my email address on the web page. And if there are places left, um, then we can hopefully offer you a place and we'll contact you between June and July so that you know exactly when to apply. Okay, so like I said, um, we have classes every day, Monday to Friday, from 9 until 12. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the kind of subjects that we study. Um, actually, subjects is not really the right word because a lot of it is really kind of reading and discussion. Um, we take on board that the students come to us from a number of different academic backgrounds and we encourage discussion about, for example, what is a lecture? What does a lecture look like in Brazil? Or how is that different to a lecture maybe in Japan? Um, and we talk about what makes a good lecture and a bad lecture, and then we talk about, okay, well, here's how lectures are in Sweden, and this is what you can expect. Um, we also deal with things like, if you don't understand a lecturer, what can you do? Um, how can you maybe ask politely for extra help? So we hope to offer some 
some practical guidance, I guess. Yeah. But we also deal with things like how to give an oral presentation, how to structure a technical report. Um, I'm looking at the list here of other things because it's been a while. Since <laughs> um, also, we do lots of uh, group work and pair work um, because for lots of students, that's quite a new thing particularly if students are expected to give each other a grade, for example. Um, so we work on what's expected when it comes to a peer review and how to do it in, a, you know, in an effective way. Yeah. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed to talk a bit with Jamie. So he explained to you everything about the course and like uh, you have my totally approval to get the course. Um, I really enjoy it, like it's only in the mornings and I feel like I, I'm still improving my English, like for sure, but it was really important for me, for me in the beginning to have this course to feel more, you know, calm and like uh, it's gonna be possible to do this master this year, I can do this. It was really important to give myself a bit of confidence. So, um, thank you for You're participating. Welcome. It's my pleasure. I look forward to seeing you in the summer. Okay, cool. So. See you guys and I hope you're gonna meet Jamie in the next summer. Bye, hey Bye.